What's going on Pectus Warriors? It's Riley Byrne from FixPectus.com. In today's video, I'm gonna show you an awesome superset to smash our inner chest, which is really key for fixing the sunken chest, Pectus Excavatum, obviously. You guys would know that if you're familiar with my channel. If not, check out all my videos. I've got a lot that cover topics like how to build the inner chest and everything from exercise, nutrition, etc. And also, while I'm on that topic of checking out the channel, check out if you're subscribed, because I checked my statistics and like 80% aren't, so. Make sure to subscribe for future video notifications. So the superset is we're gonna be doing the Palof press, which hits our inner chest and our obliques. Very key muscles for pectus, inner chest for the sunken chest, obliques for your rib flare and your pot belly. And we're supersetting it with a unilateral cable fly. Unilateral movements are very key for pectus because we normally have a muscular imbalance or pectus is more severe on one side. So unilateral movements can help even that out. I've got a video on evening out sunk, uh, an uneven chest as well, which is worth checking out. Um, and then also the unilateral banded fly is just gonna absolutely hammer our inner chest even further. So that's just a critical part of my bodybuilding and, and my training for fixing pectus without surgery. Stand out, got the band behind me. Trying to come across as far as I can and up in the inner upper chest. Should be able to see those muscle fibers working. Take it to failure. Do the same on the other side. So one of the keys, guys, with hitting our inner chest is you really want to come as far across as we can. That's when we're really going to start to activate these muscle fibers in your inner chest. Uh, we don't have an inner chest, and one of the ways that the chest fibers work is through adduction. When we come all the way through, these fibers in here are like sticky, so they'll connect to the movement of the whole chest, and so they're getting activated when they normally don't. And so that's that's kind of the science behind it. I actually recently learned that. I never really understood how I built my inner chest so much, but I knew anecdotally through my own result that it worked and through my client results, but I didn't understand science. Anyway, so we're gonna superset that with Palof Press. So with the same band setup, we're gonna do Palof Press. So bring the band here into the middle of our body and then pressing out, trying to really get that contraction in the inner chest and also our core and our obliques for stabling ourselves because the weight makes us want to go like that. So by stabling, stabilizing ourselves straight, we're going to engage our obliques, which are key for pectus. And then obviously this is getting the inner chest. What an amazing exercise for pectus, eh? Same thing on the other side, 10 reps. Keeping that weight in the middle of your body, keeping your torso up straight is the key. Now guys, a mind to muscle connection is really critical with this, with these exercises and slow. So you gotta slow it down. You gotta think about the muscle. You gotta think about the inner chest. That's why I like to feel it. Really make sure you're engaging it, okay? This exercise can be done half-heartedly without mind-to-muscle connection and focus, and you're not gonna get any benefit. So it's really important you do everything right. That goes for like all exercises, but particularly ones that we're trying to like target a specific muscle fibers, like our inner chest in these. Um, so it's, it's really important, guys. Um, my, for, for my clients who sign up to my coaching, I have video tutorials breaking down exactly how to do these perfectly, integrated into the app. So when you go to your workout, you see the exercise, then you see the video tutorial. So it's a really handy feature. If you think about coaching, links in the description. 